What's going on, muchachos? Good morning, happy Saturday. It is 9, 12 in the morning. We are gonna have a very exciting busy fun. day. Well, busy morning, but exciting, fun afternoon, evening. Good morning, my love. Good morning. Good morning. Do you wanna tell them what we got going on today? First, I have a softball game. Yep. My last softball game. Of the season, and then you have, I just found out yesterday, you have playoffs. What should be starting next week? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were gonna get like a week or two weeks off before like all of that started, but okay. nope. Coach said um, it's supposed to start Thursday. Playoffs. But anyways, continue. What's up to the softball game? Great Wolf Lunch! 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 So yes, we are going to Great Wolf Lodge. You guys know this will be our Fourth. We went for my birthday. Uh oh. Well, I mean fourth because of Girl Scouts. Oh, fourth Sorry. because of Girl Scouts. Yes. But fifth time ever going. Fifth time ever going, but her fourth year because of Girl Scouts, and we're going because of Girl Scouts. Of Girl Scouts, yeah. So if you're new or you never, I don't know what the word is. Paid attention. I don't know what like the word is, but like maybe never watch those vlogs. But she earns this it's not like she just gets to go because she's in girl scouts so she has to sell a certain amount of cookies 1200 boxes to be exact um and if she sells that then she gets to go to great wolf lodge so very exciting we bust our butts to earn this like we yeah i almost did say the a word actually but she earned it again and so we're so proud of her our little cookie dealer <laughs> and hey we work hard too though i mean Mommy and daddy, we work hard too. We gotta work those booths too. This year actually, last year I think was definitely harder um, than this year. Last year was just a hot mess. Um, and it was also hard because, you know, Emilio was a newborn. It is still hard as far as like Emilio being a baby. Do you know what I mean? Um, and so he can't just stand there at cookie booths with us. Plus this year they did this whole like, not a ban, but more strict rules as far as like, you're not allowed to have siblings, only one adult is allowed to be there. They are just a little bit more strict about things. What's wrong? Are you upset? What? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> say hi. Is that what it was? Say hi, muchachos. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think we got a stinky diapers. I have not checked in in a hot minute, I, it is 2.11. And I reminded her. Yes, Alondra did. She's like, mommy, are you gonna vlog? And this battery's dying. That's okay. I brought a backup one. Well, this one, it's fine. Anyways, I brought a backup one and I brought the charger. So it's all good in the hood. It's just in the trunk of the car. But as you can see, daddy's home. Hello, coach. Hello. <laughs> He's gonna be the head coach today and the pitching coach today. Our coach for the game, um, Go Squad. That is Alondra's new team because we switched like leagues. But anyways, um, the head coach is not gonna be there, so Iram is going to step in. Um, but anyways, we are on the road. We we didn't leave exactly at what time we wanted to leave by, but, but we will be there before the game starts. And are you saying hi? <laughs> and like I mean, me. That's the best that you know we can do. So, anyways, though, I got everything loaded. I feel good. I feel like also, thank God, I was on my A game yesterday and was getting shit done because there's no way we would have even left, even at the time that we did leave, if I didn't have everything like ready to go. So, I'm proud. I am proud. Good luck on your game, beautiful girl. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, coach, pitch good, okay? <laughs> Nice! 
five. Twink. High five. Twink. <laughs> Game is over. It was amazing. Well, we already told them that y'all won, but what was the score? Nine to seven. Oh my God, it was seriously such a good and game. I, I scored. Yay, and what else? I made it on base three times. Yep, so you batted three times and you hit yeah. three times. So you went three for three. Yeah. With an RBI. And my. You and gotta learn the baseball softball angles, so say that, say I. Went no. three for three with an RBI. And Buffy's gonna be broke. Why is he gonna be broke? Because he owes me three different dogs. Oh snap! <laughs> oh, I know what it is. He owes three because I get one, Daddy gets one, and you get one. No. <laughs> uh -huh. Who's gonna? What do I get for my great pitching? A dipping dots. I like dipping dots. Yeah, I get beer. Oh, it was such a good game. All of us parents were going crazy, and of course the coach wasn't there. It's like, you know. But oh well, y'all won it for Coach Travis, huh? Yeah. But. Daddy did awesome pitching. He did so good. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. And Daddy has been up since midnight, so he's exhausted. It's now 4:30. Oh my God, you're really gonna be exhausted. Oh babe. <laughs> but seriously, we're all like on a natural high right now. We're just so excited. It's like the perfect way to go to you know Great Wolf Lodge, go have a blast now and have fun. And yeah, my cheeks hurt because I just like the smiling so much. I'm surprised I saw the voice because I was. So Screaming. I am that parent that screams. I, I cannot sit in silence. Like, I don't know how. Like, it just comes out. And I scream for all the girls. I cheer for all the girls. I yell for all of them. I scream for all of them to run. <laughs> it's not just my kid. Um, I'm just, I'm that I'm vocal. I'm that vocal mom, for sure. Oh, man. So, anyways. You're, you're yeah. going to have a heart attack. Yeah. The grandma uh, of one of the girls, like she's like, oh my god, and I was like, you should have seen me when I was pregnant with Emilio. I was like, I had a big belly, still screaming and Jumping going up, up yeah. yeah, going nuts. So, uh, but anyways, that's the very last game of the season, and then now we have playoffs. We're just waiting to find out what day. But anyways, all right, we will check in with you guys once we get to Great Wolf Lodge. We're here. We made it to our room. It is 6.40. Uh, literally, we waited. Uh, we got in line at five o'clock. So, an hour and 40 minutes from getting in line, checking in, getting the stuff out of the car, and then getting to our room. We literally just walked in 30 seconds ago. Why are you carrying your bag, silly? So, yeah, I thought the line was gonna be dead because I usually, or we usually get here like, an hour before check-in. So we usually get here like at three and check-in starts at four. So that way we're like one of the first ones. So I thought it was gonna be dead, but joke was uh, on me. <laughs> so anyways, we're here. They said that they closed the park at eight o'clock. Then they're gonna reopen again at nine just for Girl Scouts. And so it's gonna be Girl Scouts only. What my love? What my love? Are you hungry? Had to get Emilio some grapes because he was about to have a low meltdown. I don't blame him though. I know he's hungry. So, um, what baby? Doritos. Some Doritos? Yes, the Doritos are, let me get everything unloaded and I'll give you some baby. Um, I don't know what I say now. Oh, um, the park is gonna close at eight o'clock and then they basically clean it all up and then they reopen again at nine o'clock. And that is just for Girl Scouts. So it's nine to 11. Usually they're open till midnight for Girl Scouts, but this year, um, they said that they're only gonna be open. What is all this? Just toiletries. Um, it's all gonna be open just till 11, which I mean, honestly is totally fine. I mean, I think we've only ever stayed till midnight twice. That was our first and second year. Um, last year, we didn't. We were just literally so exhausted. All right, and we'll leave the rest of this here. So anyways though, um, yeah. So what we decided we're gonna do, because if we literally go like change and run down there right now to go on the slides, they're gonna close and we need to eat because we are all starving. And so they'll, we'll probably only be there for an hour, less than an hour for them to close and then wait around an hour. Our game plan for right now is to change, get everything kind of unpacked, and then we will eat and then go, by the time we're done eating all of that, it'll be nine o'clock and then go in there, which I think Edom and Emilio are actually gonna take a nap because Edom says that he could definitely use a nap and I know Emilio could use one. So I know the lighting is terrible. I'm sorry guys. I wonder if there's another light. There's gotta be another light switch in here. Um, oh yeah, right here. 
Ah, oh, there we go. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of the game plan for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, put everything away, and then we're just gonna eat something real quick. Our view this year is a bummer. I'll show you guys real quick. Portal potties. <laughs> we always usually get the view of the um, of the actual water park, but this year it's like over here, which it's fine now. It's fine. And I guess to show a room tour. We got two queen size beds, very nice, very nice. This feels a lot more spacious than last year. And last year, Edom's mom and dad came with us. Um, but yeah, this feels a lot bigger. But anyway, so we have two queen beds. Uh, we have a little table situation. Got the TV. Uh, I, can't, I can't find my words, but you know what this is. And then it does come with a mini fridge, a microwave. And then this is like the living room area and that does open up into a sleeper bed as well so this room can sleep six and then over here is the exciting bathroom which hey we have a sink in here we've never had a sink in a bathroom before i don't think well in the bathroom at great wolf lodge anyways i don't know this bathroom looks huge i feel like the bathrooms are always tiny and i feel like this is new too the shampoo yeah the first room we got was really cool i had the bunk beds but anyways this is our, this is our room. If you guys are interested to watch any of the other old Great Wolf Lodge videos, I'll link them all in the description box if you want to check them out. But all right, we're going to go ahead, get situated and changed and food. Back in the room, we went and ordered our food. Edom is waiting on it. And Alondra is going through her goodie bag. We got ears. We already have wolf ears, but they give them to us every year. This is my fifth pair. And then she got her shirt. Let's see it. That's really cute. I love it. That's right. Cookie Boss. <laughs> says Cookie Boss. I love it. That's super cute. And then she also got a wand because she's doing the like magic quest thing. It's like our keys, how to use our keys. Oh, we got a, a wada. What else did you get? Popcorn. Popcorn, very nice. I mean, I love popcorn. I got some goldfish. Goldfish is always good. Uh, vanilla Oreos. I love vanilla Oreos. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But my favorite are double stuff. And then I got fruit snacks. All right. Got oh, and then show them what you made while we were waiting in line. Okay, so first I made this pen, pen that says, my favorite Girl Scout cookie. My favorite Girl Scout cookie. It's a Samoa. And I also made this one, Future Super Seller. It's because I thought I lost this one, but I really didn't. So I just did Future Super Seller. But I am a future. I already am a future. I, I'm already a Super Seller. And then what else? Did you, I think this is the. Show them the other thing you made. I think it's the best thing. I made a pet. So first it was a pen, and you add beads. So this is the starter bead, and this is this, focus. There you go. And this is an etzelotl, focus. <laughs> and then there's like this clay bead, and then there's this like crown, and then there's this like crystal bead. Super pretty. And I picked gold. So that is her little goodie bag, and then she also got, um, oh your hands are cold, Emilio. Uh, like a certificate for being a super seller and then a um a patch of course you know girl scouts with their patches or badges they all gotta have it. so that is everything that she got <sighs> i'm so hungry emilio's already chowing down on his grapes he loves grapes and then i just heated up his leftover yeah, spaghetti and meatballs yeah. and then obviously the other food he will have as well but i just figured I might as well just bring some spaghetti and meatballs just in case. But anyways, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, feed him, and then wait till Edom gets back up here so we can eat. All right, we are gonna head down. It is 8.34. Alondra has her little magic quest thing. We have to activate it. So we're gonna go ahead, get that activated. I hope they're still open. Do they have a certain time? Um, I forgot my beach bag. Yeah, I know. It gets... It gets so packed. What bag? Oh, the other bag. The toiletry bag. 
Whatever, I already got this one ready to go. Not I always bad. grab a beach bag and She's I forgot it. So pink bag. Yeah, I'm gonna use Alondra's duffel bag. I uh, also have a toilet, like a big, I just realized the um, like recyclable, reusable bag. Um, but it has all the toiletries in it, whatever. I already emptied it out, I already have this one ready to go. And honestly, this is gonna be better for tomorrow. You know what I mean, when we throw all the clothes in here, when we're done. So anyways, we're gonna go head down, get that activated. She's probably gonna do a little bit of magic quest. And then we get to go inside for Girl Scout night and we get to do that for two hours. Emilio is still kicking. Uh, <laughs> I guess we will see what happens. I thought he would knock out, but he is, he's ready to go. So we shall see. Alondra did a little bit of her magic quest and now we are Headed to the water parks. Are you excited? Yes. Me too. Oh, and we're stopped. Oh my God, look at the humidity. Can you see now all that humidity? All right, we made it in. Edom's gonna go put on his swim diaper. But in case you've never seen Great Wolf, they totally changed the entrance. The entrance used to be there, and now it's right here. What happened? It's loud and she's playing in the kiddie pool while we get Amelia ready. The humidity is already fogging it up again. But if you guys can see, oh, nope, you can't. There we go. But their slides are here. There's a lazy river, there's the tidal wave, and this is the, the kiddie area. So I'm gonna leave you guys here and Alondra and I are gonna go on some water slides as soon as Edom gets back uh, changing with Melio. Wow, the light right there and then the humidity. Oh my God. Can you see me? <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Did you have fun? Say yes. We are back in the room. You guys, I am so, so sad. I thought I was on my A game. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I did not forget anything because I feel like I always forget at least one thing, a couple of things for like a trip, always, without fail. Obviously, I forgot um, like the beach bag. And then when we were downstairs, you know, I was like, do you know what we for, uh, got to pack food-wise? And I was like, what? He goes, uh, the breakfast sandwiches? Yeah, baby! The boys are showering and then I'm gonna catch them, uh, Emilio, so I can get them ready. But, uh, yeah, I forgot the breakfast sandwiches and I forgot the pancakes. So for breakfast tomorrow, we just have like honey buns and that's it. But anyways, be right back. Let me go and get Emilio out of the shower. Good morning. morning. Day two, Great Wolf Lodge. I finally taller than my mom. You're like totally standing up. I wonder if you're gonna be taller than me. Do you think you're gonna be taller than me? Maybe. Maybe. I think so. You think so? Because I'm almost your height already. No, you're not almost my height. Kind of. <laughs> But anyways, it is, what time is it? 10.07, checkout is 11. We've, well, this one has been up for a while because I heard her <laughs> iPad. <laughs> um, but that's just how she is. She will not wake up early for school and she will fight you. But <laughs> when we are on vacation or something exciting is happening, she is up at like the ass crack of dawn. Yes, so it always happens that way. But anyways, checkout is at 11. Um, we've been up since like, I think, 
Well, we got out of bed, all of us, at like 8.50. Idan went to Starbucks, um, cause it's, thankfully it's in this Scooby hotel. Dub, dub. So we don't have to actually leave the, um, I think you were back in the room at 9.17? No, I think you called me at 9.17. It was quick though. Usually the line at Starbucks is a mile long. Not, not literally a mile, but you know, it's, it's insanity, the line there. And they don't allow you to do like, order ahead. Or like, you know how you can order on like their app or whatever? So anyways, um, cause we've done it one year, but we were like, we're not gonna do that again because the line is so long. But because I forgot all the breakfast stuff, we did it again. And we did not wanna have to leave to like go to McDonald's or something else because the elevators are insanity in the morning and it just takes way too long. So anyways, we all just got done eating. Edom is still hungry though because Emilio ended up eating his like breakfast sandwich, basically the whole thing. So Edom's gonna have a ramen. So at least some of the food I brought didn't go to waste. I literally packed way too much. I think I packed like nine ramens. But I just remember our first year, we were like, remember after we did the late night, we were all so hungry. We, I think you ate like two ramens. Alondra and I had a ramen. We just ate a lot more food. And I, I guess it's hard to know too, but at the end of the day, I'd rather have too much food than not enough food. So if only I just did it. You're eating the croissant? If only I didn't forget the breakfast stuff, but it's okay. I'm gonna be like Elsa and just let that shit go. Real quick, we were only able to do two slides, Alondra and I. I don't know. We did the green one, which we love, and then we did the family one, but not with our, it's not really, a, it's not called the family one, I just call it the family one, but it's a big circle, See? and you just sit around the edge of the big circle. I think like, what is the max on that? Five or, well there was five six. of us that went on it. I think it's six. I got, and they also weigh your group, and if you don't meet the weight requirement, then you, I have to like, you know, adjust. But um, anyways, Alondra's troop leader and her daughter and then her daughter brought a friend. They were there last night, so we met up with them and the five of us girls went on that together. And then it was lightning, so they closed down the slides. So that sucked. We were only able to do two slides because of lightning. That happened to us another year too. And then the boys, while us girls were in line for the slides, and usually I feel like we don't ever have a line for slides, uh, but this year there was lines. It, went, it, went, it wasn't as bad as it looked, but it was just weird to see lines. And then we spent most of the night in the Lazy River. Yeah, huh. which was really fun though. Yeah, we just were going around and around and around the Lazy River. Emilio liked it, but he was definitely getting tired. So it was perfect, because we got out of the Lazy River at 10.51, and they closed at 11, so exactly. it worked out good. But anyways, I'm gonna go now, because I know I've really been rambling. I just wanted to fill you guys in, because I don't know and if I did all that last night. You're excited? I know. Alondra's ready to go. She's She's dying to get back into the water park. So we will just check in with you guys a little, a bit, little later. bit later.
Daddy gonna be shy? <laughs> he just woke up, he's a little cranky. So Alondra and I did a bunch of slides. I got that all on the GoPro, hopefully. It was recording and nothing's wrong with the camera. Um, and then once he woke up, now Edom is gonna go and do slides with Alondra. So we're rotating and taking turns, huh? Oh, they flipped over. <laughs> But um, I think we're gonna sit here for a little bit and then see if he wants to go to the kitty area. Right now I'm just like sitting in front of like the slides. But I don't know, he wasn't really feeling the kitty area when we went, but I think honestly it's because he just really needed a nap. So I might take him over there in a little bit and see. What do you wanna do? What do you wanna do? Oh yeah. So you can see we're right here just watching people come out of these slides. Can you say hi? You wanna say hi? Hello. Okay, say hi. Alondra and Edom. I just wanted to check in because I have in a little bit. So I will check with you guys. Uh oh, he ends in a little bit later. Well, it's time fun? to go home. Did you have fun, Angel? Yeah. Yes? What was your favorite part? I already know the answer. The big water slide. The big water yeah, slide? Right there. Show it. Oh, I'll show it. Sorry. <laughs> this one right here is the big scary one. It's called the tornado. Well, Alondra did that one with Edom, and then they came back, and then that was the one that Alondra and I did together as well. So that was the very last one. We we went out with a bang. Um, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> so it's now time to go. We got like about an hour drive home, so not too bad. Minutes. Oh, 45? Oh. We're oh, a lot closer we're than the, I thought. We're oh, we're taking the toll roads? <laughs> That's why. Um, but anyways, yeah, so ready to go home. It was a lot of fun. I feel like Emilio did good. He was definitely, I feel like, more into it last night than he was earlier today. But I'll be honest, once he like, he took he took a nap for like how long? Two hours? Two hours. Yeah, about a two hour nap. And I was going to say, he was, like once he woke up, I mean, we did a couple more, like they did a couple more slides and then Alondra and I did one and then we just, it was time to go. Cause it's 437, I don't know if I said that. And then Alondra got ice cream one last time cause she hit the ball three times. So Edom was like, okay, I'm gonna get you ice cream. Like I'll get you ice cream twice at Great Wolf Lodge. And then right next door, they opened up a pretzel place. Oh my God, did you see their pretzel sandwiches? They had like, they, looked so they good. had egg sandwich like for breakfast with like pretzel bread. And I was like, are you kidding me? I wish I would have known that because I would have gotten that for breakfast. I love pretzel bread so much. Um, so but yeah, that's like, it's so crazy how different. So if you guys are in Grapevine, ever go to Grapevine, Great Wolf Lodge, they totally changed it. They're still doing construction, it looks like, outside. So maybe that's why they're charging for parking now to pay for all of the remodeling they're doing. But they remodeled the ice cream place. They, they remodeled a lot. It looks really good. Um, it'd be cool if they made like a couple like extra slides. Yes. Nice, but probably but they would not. Probably close so them. yeah, they probably would have to close it to do all that. Um, but yeah, so Laundra got ice cream. I got some pretzels and then she went into the little arcade area. She wanted to see how many tickets that she had and see if she wanted to cash them in. No, I have like seven hundred like Yeah, you have seven hundred and something. She didn't want to cash them in. Um, but I did we just put like a few bucks on her game card so she could play a couple more games. But Emilio did not, he was not feeling it. She played for like a little ride for them to do. He didn't like it towards the end, unfortunately. I spent but nine dollars for nothing. It wasn't nine, it was nine points. Like not nine dollars, nine points. So it was really good. Really good staycation overall. We'll get home. And then I already got the laundry. I just gotta literally just throw everything into the washing machine. I already got it prepped, ready to go for us to get home. And then I'm just gonna get dinner along the way. So. Anyways, I guess we'll see you guys when we get back to La Casa.